like y'all ain't in church today. I know we had a long conference, but every chance you get, you ought to come in here and give God some glory. Has God done anything for you? Well, come on and tell him, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Been so good to us. I said he's been so good to us. I don't care what kind of storm you in right now, God is all right. I say God is all right anyhow. You can't let the devil steal your joy. Tell him I got joy anyhow. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Every time you come to church, man, you got to give God some glory. Because he's been so good and he's been so gracious unto us. Today is a special day. It is my father's birthday. I shouldn't say my father, our father. Because he was a father to everybody. And some of these folk talking and lying now. He was your father. And looked out for you like you were one of his children. So, you can't muzzle me with lies. And you are not going to destroy this church. You may not understand that if God hadn't have brought me here, everything that my mother and father built would have closed down. The school would not be in existence. That studio wouldn't be there. And this church wouldn't be here. And somebody had the nerve to talk about a money scheme. So the school payroll is 17000 a month. Yeah, that school up there? The payroll, 17000 a month. The studio payroll is 16000 a month. That's 33000 a month. The school charges $250 for a family. If you got four or one, it's $250. And I think the price went down to one twenty-five. dollars uh, What do you say, Monica? So... 125 a month <laughs> times 80 or 90 students that we have, that ain't no 17,000 a month. And then half the folk that go to the school, they don't even pay. And talking about a money scheme, where, where is it at? So 
So I have put my money into the school, the studio, to try to keep alive what my mother and father started. So I'm feeling some kind of way today <laughs> on my father's birthday. And just something about it that today of all days, I ain't with it. And then we got a preacher down in Houston running his mouth as a homosexual. Oh, yeah, let me, let me just get on out here now. Why aren't you talking about that? Why aren't you talking about same-sex marriage? The Bible says that marriage is honorable. So, if you let the devil trick you, and then somebody talking about they agree because they was molested as a child, I didn't molest you. Why do you think all these kids love me? I am a protector of children. <laughs> so everybody that's connected, they know the truth. You think we have all these folks sitting up in this church? So all these folks going to sit up here in the church and know and still stay here. You are alive on the pits of hell. <laughs> so today, <laughs> we're going to show a video of my father. He's going to preach today. And then we're going next door and we're going to have a celebration for my father. <laughs> and I don't know what kind of Reed blood some of these folk got the last name Reed. Uh, there's something wrong with them. trying to figure out when, when I was sending you all that money every time you ask me. <laughs> and all the cars I bought for graduation I paid cash and gave it to your child. The devil is a mess. And the devil get in folks. Just like God used folk, the devil uses people. So if you trying to remove me, you better talk to God. Because he the one put me here. And ain't nobody got no power but God. See, they just sent me some stuff about the fella down in Houston running his mouth. And they say, Bishop, and I don't even know these folk. Here, put this out there on him. I said, no, I ain't going to do it. But 
But I got to say this little something here today. So y'all can calm down. Because y'all want to get out the gate. So I don't want y'all to get out the gate. Let me just sprinkle this and move on. But don't let the devil fool you now. And I wish some of y'all would mess with my wife, Jordan. <laughs> Talking about what you're going to do if you see her. Well, you will see me on the news. Let, let, let me just tell you that right now. Talking about what you're going to do if you see her. You better walk by and say, praise the Lord. That's what you better do. Because that's my wife. And she grown. She didn't need nobody to sign no paperwork for her. Now, if this was out in the streets, y'all be saying she made a come up. But you a hypocrite. So don't you forget the Bible says marriage is honorable. And the Bible said when you find the wife, honey, you find favor with God, honey. I found some favor with God. And we sleeping good at night. Ain't nobody up all night worrying about all these crooks. But I felt I need to say that because somebody talking about what they're going to do if they see you. I'm telling you now, don't let the devil fool you. Because I ain't the one to play when I get on the other side here. Wish you would. Yeah, uh-huh, you mean the, the, the pastor? Yeah, me. It's just too far, it's too far. You start threatening bodily harm, that's a problem. And please don't come over here because everybody in here is packing over here. Please don't come over here showing out. I'm asking you nicely as I know how. Now, had to get that off because see y'all, uh-uh, you start talking about, you, you talking about you going to do something here when you see her? No, oh, you done went too far now. You done went too far. And I want you to know you done gone too far. Because I ain't going to do no whole lot of talking. But I'm going to send a warning out there. <laughs> Don't you put your hands or try to put your hands on that lady right there. And they got this lie out that my father was forcing folk to get married. You are a lie. You jumped up in front of the church when he asked who wanted to get married and you jumped up. You could have said no, like a whole lot of other folk did. Yeah. 
So at some point, you got to come to, the, to yourself and realize the devil using you. And then made a statement talking about, is what a reason to start a school because of lesbian and homosexual. I don't know no better reason to start one. <laughs> Folk can't even go to school in peace without being approached by somebody. So this man that's getting ready to preach here, he had the people in view trying to protect your child. So yeah, that was a good reason to start a school. Because we don't believe in same-sex marriage. We believe they need to get saved. But we're not going to let you do what you want to do. Mm -mm. The Bible said that a man shall not lay with a man <laughs> like you do with a woman, and a woman ain't got no business laying with another woman like she would with a man. Why aren't y'all stirred up about that? All you good Christians that's in a corner on that subject, why aren't you raising up about same-sex marriage? God said it wrong. You ready, Sister Hill? <laughs> Lights, camera, action. The next voice you will hear is that of the founder of this church, presiding Bishop Jeremiah Reed. 